For this week's Elite Vortex, here's what I'm going to do. This one's on Lotus Island. I haven't played the last few weeks Vortexes, but I'll do this one. And I'm going to bring Geraldo because I want to try out a an actual Max Paragon versus Elite Vortex. Now, since I last played Vortex, there's been changes such as Geraldo not being able to refresh level 20 if you buy or sell him. That's a big problem because, well, like you can get totems faster if you buy or sell them. But since you can't, I have to drop him really early in order to afford a enough totems to get a 300 Paragon. That being said, I think we dropped Geraldo on round 4, is it right? And then we get the, the NFT. So yeah, the degree 100 Paragon of choice would be Boat, just because the planes work when it's it, Vortex stuns it. All the other Paragons, I believe, get disabled fully, including Ninja. The Ninja does have the full map range of the bomb, but I still think Boats would be better than that. Plus, I guess getting a uh, Boat to degree 100 is easier because the money that it makes accounts towards, like, the degree of the Paragon. So yeah, farming isn't looking very good with Geraldo over Ben, but hopefully we'll make do with it. I think for Tier 1, I, I don't know if this is the right choice, but I've heard Elim's pretty good against Vortex as long as you don't put it in range where it gets stunned. Okay, on second thought, we'll probably just go Elite Defender because apparently that's better than Elim and cheaper too. I'm going to put the Sniper here. It gets full amount range, but hopefully if I give Village range to the boat, it'll reach this so it gets sell back. And then we sell. We sell. We sell. And we sell. And let's sell the Waff too. There we go. And now we Village buff both towers. And uh, I don't think that's in range. Oh, also, I need to put the Elite Defender on first for a bit. Because balloons are leaking. Maybe that's why I get back a waff up here, huh? Yeah, so that the Elite Defender doesn't have to worry about it. Like, I could also try to leak lives to make the shoot even faster, but you see, we're already doing just fine right now, so... I think I'm just gonna work on, well, the Miniopolis. Oh wait, we're leaking lives! Huh, okay. That was, uh, totally all planned, guys. Now we got X4 attack speed for, uh, what, 15 seconds? That's pretty epic if you ask me. Also, if I leave more lives here, I can have it activate again. Wait, don't die. Uh. Okay, it activated, it activated. Put it back in strong. Not gonna lie, Elite Defender is kind of fun for uh, beating a tier. Oh crap! Holy crap, these wounds are fast as F. I, I just remember that, yeah, Vortex uh, slip Slipstream makes them go uh, really bazooka. Now that I almost killed it though, we gotta start selling towers, so uh, after this pops... See ya. See ya. Okay, round 49 cleared, so we'll get a 49 off. That's, that's alright to me. So what I want to do for tier 2, I guess a mad is probably easiest, just, just like usual. Again, put it on the top of the island, and uh, it'll do work. Let's go for trade empire right now, guys. Boom. And because we're not doing rank mode, we don't have to sell, like, our farms... If we're short of the mat, it's fine. We just wait. It's not a big deal. And 20 on round 26. Alright, and uh, Vortex is coming in. Don't have mad yet. It'll be there before the end of the round. There we go. Round 61. So, uh, just this. With that, with jungle drums. And I guess we'll do a tier 4 out buff. And in the meantime, I will uh, get as many of the essential markets as I can. Like, those AI 63 balloons are gonna just run by on the backside of Vortex here. Also, crap, it's on my mat. It's, it's fine, though. It's fine. As long as we pop it, that's all I care about. So, just a cluster bomb over here, guys. Two recursives. Out buff both of them. And you see how easy it is? Should have gone ranked. Oh, yeah, why am I using farmers? For, uh... There we go. Tech bot's not needed. Did I... <laughs> yes, I placed a farmer next to a hard place. Yes, I did, chat. I did. I did. Okay, no one saw that. So, I'm replacing my Opolis on the right or left side. I think the left side has more more space. Also, yes, it won't get stunned by Vortex, at least at the beginning. So, that's what I should do. Now that we beat this, sell you. And we're missing one central market. So, let's get 10. And then upgrade all these to flavored. There it is, guys. Fully maxed Trade Empire Army. Also, make sure to do uh, Monkey City. Okay, so now we do it, guys. 8 farm Monkeyopolis. Okay, so what level is Geraldo? Level 14, okay. So because of the glitch getting patched, I have to get Geraldo 
on round 75 or earlier to afford it for round 120. Because here's the thing. They actually buffed the totem to be more expensive, but... But, but, but... Let me get Energizer for faster... I should have actually gotten this earlier for faster level ups. Because right now it's going to be really expensive to, to afford to roll though. Before, it required 60 totems to get to 300, but they buffed it from 1500 power to 2000. So now you only need 45. Just do quick math from 120, 45 rounds is 75. So right now it's round 17. So basically, I'm going to sell you, and I'm going to power level him. How much does it cost? Ouch, that's going to cost a pretty penny. But yeah, we got two totems to start, and then we add, gotta add one every round. We're gonna start doing 45 totems. Starting from here, but it's, yeah, it's so pricey. Look at this, 26k per totem. So this is still gonna be very hard to, like, afford what I need. Because I still need to build farms, right? What I should actually build is a, uh, yes, uh, a monkey nomics. Basically, this plus Geraldo's life reset is pretty nutty. Over, I guess he could get more boats, because even though it doesn't count towards the uh, merchants or the trade empire, it still gets buffed by the, um, what do you call it, the central markets. So this will get us even closer to the amount of pops or money that we need. Plus, there's so much water left. Over, I just realized I can't do a Paragon. Because I'm using Paragon totems to get to 300, I can't actually build a Paragon because it eat up the, the Paragon totems first, so... Tier 3 and 4 have to be Paragon list, so it probably has to be a Temple then. Found the boat spot. So this one's going to be a carrier flagship. Basically, I want, well, damage on this guy. Like, essentially, we're looking for a good amount of pops on the carrier flagship, so we're trying to super buff it too. By that, I mean, like, a homeland defense somewhere. So cripple mob for more damage. Uh, we'll make sure to get glue storm too. And then we'll work on a super brittle somewhere over here, I guess. And let's go. Okay, I got my mat now, guys. You gotta remember, yeah, while the boss is going, we have to keep dropping totems every single round. Can't forget that. And we'll just keep spamming homeland and all that. Oh, apparently some people say that the buff Ray of Doom is decent boss damage now, so I guess I'll try that. It's very expensive, though, but whatever. We're getting to the quarter mark. Uh, pretty far in the track. I don't like this very much. You know what else is good? A uh, Sky Shredder. All right, finally, abilities back up. Go, 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 go. Okay, we'll probably lose this one. I need to redo this. Yeah, if this stuns our mad here, it does. Okay, I lost. Okay, we're getting way too many over tower stuns, so I'm gonna have to redo this round and figure out better placements for uh, all this stuff. So, one more try. It's close, though. I think what I should do is I should literally just put towers at the front so that, like, Vortex won't get back to the front after it leaves. So they'll never be stunned after, ever again. So this will stun the, the mad, no worries. Okay, I'm just gonna build another platform. This is getting ridiculous. I can't place anything. So let's go Sky Shredder early. This is pretty good. I guess we'll build a big plane too, since popular quest. And eh, damage is okay, I guess, on this guy, but Sky Shredder way better. Anyways, uh, I think we're doing a little better this time. I just know that we won't have any of our crucial towers stunned. While it's near the exit. I think I'll just drop a quick Ray of Doom back here. It's actually... Wow, it's pretty good damage. Huh. I guess the buff Ray of Doom did... Did help a lot. Okay, it's actually getting really far, though. So we gotta quickly... Uh, put this down before it gets too close to the exit. Come on, Skull push back. Thank you. Good news. Uh, the uh, Ray of Doom shoots through. Also, we have max totems again. It's so annoying to have them keep track of all this. I got 400k, but I don't want to spend it. Because there's nothing to spend it on. Oh yeah, I also forgot Elite Defender. Why am I doing that? It's a perfect candidate for uh, more damage. 230k? If I get this skull, I think I'm good. Yeah, for Tier 4, I definitely have to get a Bench Fall. Because it's just going to be too much for normal towers to uh, defend. Because during Tier 3, it was this annoying without a Temple. I just don't want to build a Temple because I already had too much stuff on the field. And uh, my god, that was way closer than it should have been. But either way, we got half a million dollars, so... Let's try to spend it. And also, let's give pops. We gotta sell all this. Because we don't want to give pops at all to uh, the other towers. We gotta give it on the boat. Remember that. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm gonna put the Super Monkey here. That would be the least intru intrusive to not eat up anything else. Actually, I have enough money at this point. I'm surprised that... I, I thought money was gonna be a big issue. But as you see, it's not really anymore. But yeah, for around 100, we're doing okay. Like, almost a million here. Like... Again, 50k, uh, ops, and money. 
on both of these, as well as the other 40 boats. So build a temple this round, Vengeful, True Sun God, sell it the moment we kill Tier 4, so we get even more pops on the boats. That's the plan. This should be a Vengeful, if I did it right. Let's watch in suspense to see if I messed up. Great. First try. Now my biggest regret is that the Vengeful is in a range of the boats, so it doesn't get that many more pops. But YOLO. NDs are banned this week, so in case you're wondering, why no Overclock Ultra Boost? I wish I could. Would if I could, guys. I really hope this doesn't take a long time to pop. There we go. Vengeful's finally back in action. You see, when it's a it's active, it actually shreds so so much. So again, that's all we gotta make sure of that we don't stun the Vengeful by accident or anything. I guess while we have time, we'll start building my boats too. Because again, the more money we get, the better it is. Okay, let me sell the Heli, because apparently I sold one Marketplace. So there we go, back to 10 stacks. Lost a little bit of damage there. But as you see, now that we're not studying the Vengeful, we're absolutely shredding. Okay, and this'll be the kill, finally. Took us long enough. GG. Tier 4. So let's get rid of the Vengeful now, quickly. Everything. And work on that Vengeful, uh, boat. Now all we do is chill and hope that this is going to end up being a D300 with 16.2 million. Again, pops plus 4x money must equal 16.2 million. So basically after this round, I'm going to drop the next totem and it should be 100 if it didn't mess up. If I did, I guess we'll just keep waiting longer. Now I do want to try to see how much damage it does like on its own, but I'm pretty sure I won't be able to solo. Because in my other tests, um, well, the other Paragons weren't able to solo like Balloon Airs or Lich. And after they buff Vortex after the first week, I think it's a lot tougher now, so I don't think there's a chance. I probably will need help. That being said, come on. And this round, drop the 45th totem and let's see. 99. Okay. Okay. I think we're missing one round of totems. Unfortunately, there's no way to know if it's pops I'm missing or it's the amount of totems, so let's wait one round. This is probably gonna, like, cost any chance of soloing it. Dude, 120 just never ends. We're letting Vortex go and get getting way too far. Hello? There we go. Oh god. Alright. Now? 100, please. It's still 99. Okay, I'm just done. <laughs> and then maybe now it'll be a degree... Oh, I got two totems. Right, I forgot to place it last round. Come on. 100? Uh, I couldn't see there. Again, 99. God damn. That last degree is a lot. 123, guys. Do you think this is going to be the degree 100? Still 99. I think my only option right now, if I want to actually get a degree 100, is to go for a temple over here. That way, it doesn't touch any of the boats. I think I missed a few rounds of totems. That's my guess. I think my pops are there, but there's no way to know. All right, I think we have about as much as you could have without a Paragon. So, uh, let's go, and hopefully we kill these rounds quick enough. Well, so far, our Vengeful Tucson God seems to be doing absolutely zero damage. So, uh, that's really awesome. But yeah, we're not even at one skull, so uh, this is a complete and utter failure so far. Basically, you need the Overclock on the Vengeful, otherwise it does nothing, as you can tell. I think I'll wait after 123, and hopefully 124 has what we need. Alright, there's one round 124, so quickly, get the... Uh, I'll, I'll do it up here now, since it's far away. Yes, finally! But again, too little, too late, unless you think we can somehow clutch it. Hang on, here's what I'll do. Holy heck, that's fast. Let's quickly get a degree 1 Ninja Paragon. We'll do a Boom Paragon too. It's far too late, though, as you can tell. Simply not enough track length to take it home. Unless you think there's a chance. That would be an epic clutch, though. If I could somehow take it home here. But, again, I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it's gonna happen. I'm just gonna drop random crap. Um, We just have to out DPS it faster than it moves, but it's not happening. As close as it is. Honestly, for the fact that we got it so late... That was a pretty nice try. It almost makes me want to try again to see if there is a way I can um do it faster. I think we just have to change where we put our eventual truce on God. 
this does look doable, guys, with the 300 bo boats. Okay, let's waste one run to see uh, if I need any more pops on the boats, or if I just need totems. Because if so, I have enough space on the left side to fit other stuff. I kind of want to try if 123 is enough. I'm just curious. Probably not. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is huge, actually. This is huge, guys. I didn't buy any marketplaces. I just did totems on 123. It actually does work. So this, I think, is enough to help us, guys. Getting degree 100, right as it turns this bend. So that out of the way, I think I can now set up for the, uh, the degree 100 kill. I think here's what I'll do. I'll get other boomers and ninjas down so that the degree of the ninja and the boomerang is higher. I think that'll help us a lot. So basically, I'm going to build my boomer and ninja paragon over here. We're going to attack the exit. Ninja sticky bomb will be very handy. So let's work on as high of a degree as possible for the ninja. All right, guys, I think this is good enough. I think we should just play it and uh, see how quickly it dies. Ladies and gents, 123 is about to start. So quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm going to again do this one up here. And this should be 100. Nice, perfect. And now we unleash all of it. So ninja is 31. Boomerang, 26. And uh, I mean, th this should be it, guys. This should be the run. If not, I'd be very surprised. Gotta love how clean the, uh, or uh, how uh, smooth the gameplay is now. Now that all those towers are gone. And come on. Take a look at this bolt paragon. Look how much Pops is doing at degree 100. 100,000 DPS, if it wasn't stunned. Now it is stunned, though, and it's very sad. It will still do damage because of the planes. Wait, actually, they're not. Okay, it's really weird because at some times I noticed that the planes did damage. But this one isn't doing damage for some reason. So this is not good. Okay, now it's doing damage. Well, I guess we just gotta hope it doesn't get stunned anymore then. Are we doing fine? I don't think we're doing uh, too hot right now. I'm gonna get back all these towers. Come on, quickly. Take her down, please. Uh, three skulls left. Two skulls left. I think we have it this time. Old Paragon coming to clutch at last minute. Either way, yep, we'll beat it this time. So there it is. I couldn't figure out whether or not it could solo the Vortex, because, well, I couldn't get the 300 at 120. But it's good to know that it does carry a big load. Up to 20 million pops, so pretty much half the Vortex right there, guys. Nice. That was a very annoying run. Should have played a lot safer earlier on to, like, guarantee I had enough totems. But, hey, at least we got it, right?